Hello everybody, my name is Lachara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. In the last episode, we released a couple of games, Orcs and Dragons 3, selling pretty well, Alien Androids, and Action Gang, that is their specialty, also selling pretty well. And then we ported over Second Fantasy 2 Deuce, which I believe was our best-selling game. Uh, we ported it over to an arcade cabinet. I'm just looking here, so we had 86 orders and 5 cancellations. Are the cancellations because we're not getting them out fast enough? Should I hire... Another person? Well, there's no technicians to hire, but maybe I'll have to keep an eye on and then hire more. But I'm not positive that that's what the cancellations mean. Um, we have an interesting decision coming up very soon. Uh, towards the end of our last episode, our exclusive publisher contract that we had, our publisher exclusive contract with Data West expired. So basically what this does, um, it's four years, 48 months. They give us $48,000, sorry, $480,000. And we get $10 paid per game. It's usually seven. So it's an extra $3 per copy, which might not seem like a lot, but then you realize like, let's look at this second phase of two deuce. That's literally $2 million, right? Cause we sold 660,000 copies of that. $2 million is a lot. So we are not really in a position to be publishing our own games yet. We're only one and a half star studio. Um, so I'm, I'm just not sure. Do I want to sign another contract? Do I want to just pick publishers every game, you know, try to get something that fits, um, maybe suck up to, uh, or get more, <laughs> improve our relationship with a five-star publisher and maybe publish with them, or we can wait, buy this property. Once the real estate boom ends, it'll go down to like 9 million or a little less. We can buy this self-published, but again, one and a half stars. The other option is buying a publisher, right? Um, cause apparently if you own the publisher and then you publish with them, you get $15 per game, which is a lot, right? Um, but this sir code is the cheapest one to buy and it's 15.6 million, which is way more than what I have. Um, so that would be tough. And plus it's only, they're only one star. So I don't know. I think for now we'll just make some games and we'll, uh, we'll just, Publish with whoever is the best fit for that particular game. So we got new research, skill trees, and day night cycle. So let's grab both of those for sure. All right, so we're working on a strat engine, and then we're going to make a strategy game because it is the trend. We have not made a strategy game yet, so it's probably not going to be great. Um, while we're waiting for that to go down, let's get our graphics team in training here. We'll just do the second option so that it doesn't take too, too long. Um, looks like our sound team's going to have to twiddle their thumbs. Backup development team is doing an update for that uh, arcade game we have. Ooh, we sold a lot of copies of our arcade game there that last week. That's good. Still no technicians to hire. That's not the end of the world. They're doing customer support. Let's cancel that because they have nothing in the queue. And let, uh, let's do a fan campaign. Let's just do a high score championship. Get an extra 1,000 fans. Now 1,000 fans... I have 48,000 fans, so an extra thousand isn't that much anymore. Like, the, this is not as significant as it used to be doing that, but it's still, every little bit helps, right? Um, so let's do a game update here. We want to do an update for Works and Dragons 3 again. Keep the sales strong on that. But it is getting expensive, right? It's 300,000 to do this. Like, that's not cheap, but we will do it. All right, so let's make a strategy game we will b plus because it's considerably more to do a right it's eight hundred thousand more that's a lot of money at this point we will go strategy because it's the trend and what kind of topic do we want for a strategy game conquest and maybe fantasy something we're good at eh, it's, it's kind of saturated though um so we're doing conquest and knights sure let me, let's just hit random a couple times. Good craft. Sure. Let's go good craft. I'm going to put this out for adults. I don't expect this game to be great because this is our first strategy game. We have no idea where to put our sliders. We do have a strategy engine though, which is nice. So we're going to go personal computer. Can we sort by active users? We can. Very. Tapple. In the arcade. 2640. That is considerably more than the Rodavan. You know what? I'm going to go to the Commander C63, I think. Well, 
Yeah, there's less games for the Commander C63. Let's go with that. It's less saturated, right? Ooh, look at that. Five stars and everything. That's good. Let's turn on all the languages. Got good copy protection. Ready to go. Let's just leave these where they are. Let's just move these ones down a little bit, though, and turn off technical. That should be good, I think. And turn everything on that applies here. 16 to 20. A couple things don't apply. Day night cycle, brand new. Boom. All right, let's approve the gameplay. Put, eh, I probably didn't need to put everything into that one. All right, and you are not uh, helping with the training, so you can start on the graphics. We are not going to do all. We're not going to do the most expensive one. Um, just because I don't want to invest too heavily into this game. Because it's not going to be great, right? Because it's our first one. It'll be okay, don't get me wrong. It's not going to be a train wreck or anything. Yeah, it got some bonus music points. I'll take it. But we're going to have to find a publisher too, which will be interesting. Ooh, all the research is starting to come down now. Alright, so skill trees. Tutorial, yeah. There's a lot of features, so we are going to have to probably make a size A game soon. Either that or we're going to have to cut features, right? So that's an interesting choice. But I'm wondering, if I make a size A game, will that push my star rating up? I wonder. Alright, so am I going to make money off this game? This arcade cabinet, it cost me a lot to make. We will see. Of course, like on support only applies to a couple of genres, right? It definitely doesn't apply to every genre. Alright, so they're not doing anything. Let's update... Um, what kind of, what engine do we want to update? Well, what else is popular besides strategy right now? Uh, skills 70, 75, 75 here. Let's go action. Let's make an action game. I know we've done some action games lately. So let's check to make sure our engine is up to date for that. Is there any engine features? No, we got a new genre though. Eco simulation, aka a tycoon game, such as this one. All right, so where's our action engine? Is it up to date? It is up to date. All right, so we will not be updating that then. So instead, we will uh, do a commission work, I guess. I don't... Do I want to do another update for that arcade cabinet game? Probably not. All right, so they are done. Let's continue development. Yeah, the graphics are not good right now because our graphics team is still in training. <laughs> Now they are done, but that just gives my QA and sound team time to bug fix and polish, right? So that's fine. That's not a big deal. Hopefully once the bugs are gone and we get the polishing done, this will be a little better. Um, do another fan campaign. Let's just do a studio tour here. I know 500, I mean, what's 500 fans, but every little bit helps. Ooh, 2D 8-bit graphics. So once that's done, we'll have some, uh, We'll have some what's my calls to do. All right, well, what engines aren't up to date here? Do we have a sports engine? We do have a sports engine. I bet this engine hasn't been updated in a long time. No, it has not. So let's update it. I know we have new research for engines coming, but that's fine. When we do need to update, update this, it'll be less, right? Less to do. And if anybody wants to buy it from us, right? Because you can make good money just selling engines, surprisingly. All right, so they're on the last thing there now. And then we'll push this out. I don't expect it to be great, as long as it's decent. Ooh, 60 to 80. Yeesh. It is my first strategy game, though, so I guess it makes sense, right? I shouldn't be overly surprised by that fact, I guess. Let's go with a large booth. Like, this will get me way more fans, right? So we'll go with that. We'll go Orcs Dragons 3. We'll go Goodcraft. Get that some hype. We don't have any consoles yet, unfortunately. And there's next to 2,700 fans. We got lots of fans there now. Uh, no commission work. I don't think I want to do any more updates. We got more research coming in. So we will have to update some engines once we get the research done. All right, okay, they're done. I should probably put this out. Hopefully it's at least 75%. All right, so we're gonna have to search for a publisher. So, now do we want to look for somebody who has a fan base and strategy? Probably. I also want to get a high relationship with somebody 
with high market strength, right? Which would be, I mean, we could go, no, Brobound, or, no, let's do Teidu. Teidu pays more than Brobound, right? So, let's do this, and let's see how this game does. And now, like, sales-wise. Problem is, though, it's not great, right, review score-wise. So, it's going to be hard to really judge the sales compared to these games, because these games were, like, 90% reviews, right? So, yeah, we'll see. But with that said... Let us do a sequel to Alien Androids. Computer and game console, B+, Aliens, Alien Androids 2. Adults, yeah, that works. This engine is up to date for the moment. It's about to not be up to date, but it is still. We'll go Katari. Um, go to Tapple and for the fourth platform. I'm gonna, I want to get experience in the C63, um, mostly because it's also tech level 2. Um, like, this is tech level 2, tech level 8. This is only tech level 1. So once our engines reach tech level 2, which probably will be soon, actually, we won't be able to put those engines on games for the Qatari, right? So we better get used to doing stuff that's tech level 2 because it's going to happen pretty soon. All right. Everything looks good. Good. Well, not everything, but most of the stuff looks good. Um, so let's look at the letters for Alien Androids. Um, better level design. Too easy. Boom. All right. So we're actually going to put level design up two, and then going to put both of these down one because they're there. We know they're not right. So if we move them both down one, that means we have two points to put in the level design, right? And obviously, we put this up to difficulty up one. This game I expect to be good, and I expect a lot of sales. Ooh, 21 of 20. Um, I gotta turn something off. Either that or make it size A. I don't think I'm ready to make a size A game just yet. Let's turn off. Um, one of the yellow ones, obviously. Password saves, because it's got save support. We don't need passwords and saves. Theoretically, I know that's not how the game logic actually works, but 50 hype is nice. All right, this game we're going to make as good as we can. I know it's going to be expensive. That's fine. Because, you know, we did not spend the extra money to make it A, so it's not going to be that expensive. They can do some customer support. High quality sounds. All right, and now we can do an update for good craft. See if we can get some extra sales out of it by doing some updates. Only 180,000 for the first one. Ooh, cost me over one. Cost over one by two million to make that game, so that's gonna be tough. All right, we got a couple of engine features here. Yes, yeah, see, these are uh, technology level two. So once we have these in an engine, if we want to use these features, we will not be able to make them for the guitar anymore, and that's fine. You got to move on eventually, right? So yeah, okay, sales are good. Sales are good. Oh yeah, we made actually big profit off this arcade cabinet. Huh. You know what I could do, too? I could probably... Could I put this into two workshops? I wonder. Right? Like, I just put a wall down the middle. And two workshops would allow me to... Um, to make two arcade cabinets at once, right? Maybe I should. All right, so let's do, let's bang out this commission work. And then once they're done with this research, we will start doing some, some engine updates, right? Um, well, we might as well do another update for good craft while, while they're idle, right? Good craft, yeah, it's doing okay in sales. Well, it's a little disappointing, but again, we don't have the exclusive, uh, the publisher exclusive contract bonus money anymore. All right, so this still has polishing to do. It's got 100 bugs. It's already 70 to 90. I expect it might go to 80 to 100 once, um, once we're to that point. All right, the graphics team is polishing. Sound team is polishing. Do I want to start training? No, let's hold off on training for now. I want to try to, I want to get, a, I want some more money. <laughs> All right, so we could buy this right now. 
it would take almost all our money. We only have a million dollars left. Um, but we could buy this and we could start self-publishing. But I'm just not sure if I want to do that yet. All right, so what kind of game we're going to make next? Um, so we just did strategy and RPG before that. We're doing an action right now. What's popular here? Not much. Skill game, RPG. Yeah, we've done too many RPGs lately. I'm doing an action right now. I guess I could do a sports game. My first, be my first sports game, but yeah, I think I'm going to prepare to do a sports game. So we got to update our old engine for sports, and now it will be a tech level two engine. So it will be called the Sports Engine 2. I will rename it every time we go up a tech level. And if anybody wants it, nobody's really buying my engines though, are they? Is my sale price too high? I wonder. Or at least I'm not noticing that people are buying my engines. Can I see that somewhere? Uh, you don't really have anything to research except for topics. I mean, we got console stuff to research, but we don't have consoles unlocked. I mean, I could do this soon, but not quite yet. I don't quite have the money for that just yet. All right, so we got a few bugs left and then we'll send this out. So everybody's polishing. Let's just take a look here at the development report. Is it up to 80 to 100? It is pure, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I, I expect, I'm not expecting like a 95 plus here. I'm expecting 91, 92%. Um, so let's search for a publisher. All right, so who did we go with last time? I forget. They do. Where that? Do they want this one again? So we could just spam them because they do have like the their payment price is equivalent to the market strength. Um, okay, how am I going to say this? Usually a four-star developer only pays $6 is what I'm trying to say. Now, I guess SMK is an exception. But like, see, $7, three stars, $7, four stars. So they're good that way. But their fans don't like action games. Well, I mean, I'm sure they like them, but they have their fans, especially like Eco Sims, which I can't see me making an Eco Sim anytime soon. But let's just suck up the Taydu again. Maybe I should have made that a size A game. 92%, just as I predicted. All right, so we were going to do a sports game, but we're not quite ready yet. So in the meantime, no commission work. Well, let's just do a quick update for Alien Androids. Day one patch. Oh, nope, sorry, not the first one. The sequel. There we go. And you know, we got game reports. I've been slacking on the game reports, especially strategy. We want to do a game report for that. Uh, no commission work there. Commission work is here. I split this in room in two. Have to move this. Have to move this. Sell the carpet. How easy is it to make um, walls, though? I don't think he can just make a wall. That's the thing. I would have to destroy half the room. And then, like, rebuild it. Right? And I'm not sure if that's worth it. I love how you can see them making the arcade cabinet, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's do what we're going to do here. Get the Sport Engine 2 done. It's... Thank you. <laughs> And then let's update, let's update the RPG engine, we'll update the action engine, you know, the, the games that we know we're going to be making, or the engines, the genres we're going to be making games for. Alright, so instead of Sphere Engine++++, plus 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 plus, we'll go Sphere Engine 2, and we'll also rename it the RPG engine. Just for simplicity's sake. Although I, I made it for the Tapple too, I probably should have done something different. All right, they have commission work they can bang out. So we're up over $10 million. Alien Android sales are actually pretty strong. 
So let's make uh, let's make my first sports game here. We'll go B plus for now. Go sports, and we'll go. Let's just go baseball. Baseball studs. I don't know if anybody ever played Baseball Stars for the NES, but it is a very good game. Um, let's go all. I think all works for sports games, I'm pretty sure. And then we'll go with the Sports Engine 2. And see, we can pick Terry here. Um, so tech level 2, tech level 2. But if I pick the Katari, it will not let me have... Or it will let me do these? Wait. Pretty sure. Yes, yeah, he said these these don't match. My engine is tech level two. Technology level the weakest platform. So I'm I'm pretty sure at some point I get an error saying I can't do that. So I need to find a tech level two that's better. Like for example, the Nintendo came out and it has eleven point four million users. <laughs> I should probably uh should probably just do it for that anyway. <laughs> So that's good. 151 million total people this is going to get to. Obviously, it's not going to be great. It's our first sports game. It's our first baseball game. It's our first uh, foray into those two engine features. So all those things are going to contribute to this being not great. But I'm okay with that. I'm very future focused. All right, and only 16 to 20 apply. So we'll just leave this as a size B+. Plus. My next game is going to be a big one. My next game will be an A-size game, I think. We'll go with a big RPG next. Like, we'll go like third fantasy. And it's going to be a big one. That's the plan. All right, so we also want to keep our action engine updated because that is a big, important one. So this will be action engine two because it is tech level two. Perfect. Okay, they are done of their commission work. Baseball stuff's good. Yeah, I think I'm at the point now where I'm I'm always just gonna apply all the all the things we can do to make the game better. No point in being cheap. Ooh, look at that, best graphics. So I've won best graphics too now. Ooh, Mimtemdo had a good year. Ooh, my first game of the year. Nice, nice. Alien Androids too. That should uh, increase sales. Yeah, it's up to a hundred hype. So you'll see a big boost in sales this week. Now that it's won those awards. See that? Nice. Although, <laughs> still still a million in the hole for that game. <laughs> Games are getting expensive to make, right? That's the thing. So let's do an update for... We've already done two updates for Goodcraft. We've made 3.4 million from this arcade cabinet. That's actually kind of crazy. That makes me think I should be making more arcade cabinets. But I need another workshop, right? Because you can only make one at a time. Maybe I should divide this room? Because, I mean... Uh, 50 to 70. I know there's bugs and stuff, but that's tough. That's not going to get much higher than 60 to 80. Because are they... See, they're barely keeping up. Like, they're not idle very often, right? Okay, they're idle right now. Yeah, I don't think I can divide this game in two. I don't think they'll be able to keep up. Um, let's update also. And let's update the platform engine. Not that I plan to make a platform game, but I need this team to be doing something. But I'm hoping people will start buying my engines as well. Because that's, that's good money. All right, so good craft is now in the positives. Alien Android 2 is looking like it's going to be in the positives. They're polishing, they're polishing, they're polishing. They're almost polishing. They has got a few more bugs to get through. All right, so they're polishing. Not much hype, but that's fine. 60 to 80, I'm expecting somewhere around 72, 73, 74. So just hopefully Taidu wants it again. Yeah, I'm just going to keep spamming Taidu, I think. Yeah, see, there's a lot of things that we are not experienced in. So, plus our sliders are probably not in the right place <laughs> so i'm not expecting this to be great yeah just what i expected 73 percent now now we're going we're going all out here this is the game right here folks this is the one hopefully 
that makes or breaks our company. Third fantasy. It'll have 50 hype. It has one IP value. Should be good in theory. Tech level two stuff, right? Size A. So it's going to be expensive, right? It's not going to be cheap. We'll go fantasy and wizards again. And where's our engine? Right there. Personal computer. Uh, see, the Nintendo is close enough to the Guitari that I'm not too upset about not being able to put this out for Guitari, right? We got enough. We're reaching enough people. We're reaching 163 and a half million people with this game. A little better there. Like we got a star. At least we have one game under our belt. And most importantly, sliders are locked in. Right, we know where to, we know where those sliders need to go, and we can turn on all twenty things. You know what? Let's turn on like on support too. Why not? <laughs> I know, like on support doesn't really work with an RPG, but I don't care. We're gonna make this as good as we can, and hopefully, it sells well, because this is gonna kind of make or break my company. <laughs> but yeah, because if it doesn't sell well, we could be in trouble. So fingers crossed. All right, so let's do a day one patch for baseball studs. How expensive is that going to be? Ugh, 238000 Yeah, it's necessary, though. All right, second fantasy two deuce, still selling well. Okay, Orcs vs. Dragon 3 going to be off the market soon. So yeah, so my bank account took a dip there. Once I, oh, we got a developer legend graphics artist. Can I fit an extra desk in here if I move some stuff around? Um, maybe? Maybe I can fit an extra desk if I move this stuff around? Why do I have two medicine cabinets in there? <laughs> Uh, well, let me put a desk there. Oh, come on, baby. Let me put another desk in here. That way I can get the legend without firing anybody. Nice. Nice. All right. Welcome to the team. Whatever your name is, I forget. Oh, we got two. Oh, geez. Um, you know what? I'm going to hire them both. So this room, okay, this is a little strategy mind. So we're at 11 of 10 in this room, okay? So what's going to happen is, in theory, there's going to be somebody who doesn't have a seat, right? The thing is, usually somebody's on break. Usually somebody's not in the room, right? So generally, it just means all our desks are going to be full, right? Like right now, there's an empty seat, right? Now there isn't, right? So we would have... It's just good. So, okay. This is the exception. Right now, he's walking around with no desk. But as soon as somebody goes on break, he's going to jump into their seat. Right? Anyway. I can't pass up legendaries. And I don't like firing people. So, here we are. All right. So, let's uh, end automation there. We will get some new stuff. Let's do an update. For Alien Androids 2, I guess. Yikes. That's expensive, though. Baseball Studs is not selling great. But, I mean, it's our first sports game. It wasn't reviewed well. Um... It's the, the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the publisher, you know, what isn't the sports fan base publisher. There's lots of reasons for that game to be struggling. <laughs> this game, on the other hand, like I said, it's going to kind of make or break me. If, if it sells as well as I'm hoping it does, it will catapult me into the point where I can, I can either, oh, I am at two stars now. I can either self-publish or I can buy somebody out, right? If the game sells where where I think it will. All right, so they're polishing, they're polishing, they're fixing bugs. Got some pretty high numbers on this. It's got 50 hype right out of the gate. I'm 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 encouraged. I'm hoping for a lot here. There's no sense doing develop engine because they are currently working on an engine feature. There's no commission work. I can do an update. One more update for baseball studs. 
or we want to update. Yeah, you know what? Let's update the arcade cabinet. It's still selling. Not quite as well. But, I mean, it's made more profit than most of my console games do. Okay, we got... Okay, none of that really applies. The light gun support is for consoles. Alright, so do we want to put this out? Yeah, let's put this out. 80 to 100. Gotta like that. That means it's probably going to be over 90, which is what we need. And we will put this out for... Oh... Some five stars want it. But I kind of want to keep going with Teidu. Get the relationship high in case I decide to buy them out. Or in case I decide to sign a publisher exclusive contract. Plus, when you have high relationship with them, they do more marketing. But, yeah. I This better be, better be over 90% <laughs> review. I think it will be. 93. I think that's my best. I think my highest before was only 92. Right? I think. Charts. Charts. Best games of all time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Second best game ever. Ping and Pong. I'm coming for you. Oh, wow. I have five of the best seven games. Nice. Technically, five. See, it's really five of the top ten. But I'm just going to use the arbitrary cut cutoff of seven games. So, like I say, it's five of the best. Five to seven. All right, so I'm just gonna, going to do a couple game reports here. Um, do I want to train these folks? Let's do training. They should be able to get through training pretty quick because there's 12 of them, right? So we'll just do the mid-level programming. I just want to see how many how through the fantasy does for sales the first week or two. And I'm hoping it's good. Well, I need it to be good. <laughs> or I'm in trouble. Alright, so we got a couple gameplay features. See, I, I want to get this done before we make another game anyway. So we got engines to update. What's what's coming next? We want to try another strategy game. Yeah, we can try another strategy game. While well, it's the trend. So let's update this engine. <laughs> We only got two stars experience in this graphics, and there's already a new one. Graphics um, engine of things come faster than the other three. It's really hard to stay on top <laughs> of the graphics. That's fine. Like I'm, I'm not surprised by the fact that, that happened. All right, so it only sold ten thousand in week one. Hopefully, it takes a big jump here in week two. Okay, fifteen. Yeah, that's still less than I hoped. Honestly. Okay, went up again. That's a good sign. That's actually a really good sign. And let's get it a little more hype here. Um, so let's pump up this arcade cabinet. It's it's what's making money for me right now. More than anything else. But yeah, no, things are going pretty good. And I just realized this video is over 33 minutes long. <laughs> so I'm going to end it here. Hopefully you enjoyed it, though. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, join my Discord. But most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.